Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here from BackIntelligence.com and today we're going to talk about sleep positions and how some of them are good, some of them aren't so good and what things you can do at home to make sure you're sleeping with the best posture you can and the least stress on your body. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button to get more access to other videos we have. So we got Leon here. Leon's going to demonstrate for us some different sleeping positions and we're going to talk about a few. First and foremost, let's just talk about the one we shouldn't do, right? So it's very common for people to be comfortable and sleeping on their stomach, but it is the more stressful position for your body. It's particularly stressful for your neck. Why? Because you have to breathe, right? So most people are going to turn one direction most of the night. Just think about it. What would happen if you walked around with your head turned like this for four to eight hours a day? Probably not a great thing, right? So it puts a lot of stress on your neck because it's constantly causing stretching on one side and compression on the other side. It's also very stressful for your jaw because of the amount of pressure. So if you have any TMJ or jaw related issues, it's definitely a position to avoid. It can also put your low back in a, in a stressful position too. So we just generally don't like stomach for most people. I know it's hard for some people to get out of this position, but do what you can do to work yourself to either the side or the back, which we're gonna go into next. So let's go through the back position. So generally, most people find this position more comfortable. But if you're going to go from your stomach to, your, to a different position, you're going to find it probably hardest to go right to your back. So you probably go to your side. But the back position generally seems to be the least stressful for most individuals. And we're going to show you why here. And we're going to show you things to do and not to do. So pillow thickness is the thing to really pay attention to. So you don't want a pillow that's too thick. If your pillow is too thick, it's going to place your head in an upward position, right? So some people have just one giant pillow. Some other people use multiple pillows. So we'll give Leon a second pillow here and we'll show you what will happen. As he's laying down, you can see that his head is flexed up. So if he's sleeping like that all night, he's putting a lot of stress on the base of his neck, pressure into the back of his head, and it can lead to a lot of headaches for people, the strain and abnormal tension in your neck as well. And again, most people spend too much time sitting at computers with their head too far forward, so let's not do that while we sleep too. So let's reduce the height of the pillow. So we'll get, we'll back Leon out of there. We'll take this guy down and we'll see, is this enough for him or not? Much better, right? So he's in a better position. He's still slightly flexed up, but he's really in a pretty neutral position. And what we want to see, if there's no flexion in your head and your ear is essentially in line with your body and it follows you all the way down through your hips. So this would be a nice neutral position and you can find it to be nice and relaxing. One thing we're going to talk about with this position, this position tends to be a good position if you have a bad back or a blown out back in a particular situation. If you have a hot back, we tend to have people sleep on their back, but we tend to have them bend their knees. So we can have someone just have a slight knee bend, and if you find it more comfortable, you can stick a pillow in there for a little support. That takes a lot of stress out of your back, and it can take a lot of load out of it. So this could be a comfortable position if you have a hot back or a back thing going on right now. But all things being equal, if we don't need it, we don't need it, and we just take that away. The other position that can be okay and is fine for most individuals is on your side. So we'll have Leon roll onto your side. So Leon, lay on your side facing the camera. So again, we're looking at the thickness of the pillow. So what position is head in, in line with his spine and his back? Again, we don't want, if it's too thick, he'll be leaned up here. So we'll give Leon an additional pillow. We'll see how he does with too thick a pillow. Good, so he's in that position. You can see that he has a slight cocked angle here. His, his ear is elevated up towards the ceiling a bit, and this is gonna put more stress. Again, more compressive load to one side, more stretching load to the other side. It's just not neutral. We want that head nice and neutral, not tilted. So nice neutral position. You gotta find the space here. So look from your ear to your shoulder. What kind of space is that? The pillow should be that thick, actually a little thicker because your head weighs something. So we want to be in that nice neutral position. So we take this pillow away from Leon. And again, we don't want to be too thin either. If we're too thin here with it, you're going to find that the head is tilted down and really cave it into your shoulders. So again, you just have the opposite effect. So we want neutral position. So for Leon, this pillow is too thin. If we go to this pillow by itself, this is probably going to be a better pillow for him. It's a little bit thicker. It's going to provide him that nice neutral position. So again, we're looking for straight lines. We want to, if we were to trace it down, we trace the line down through the middle of his face, through his nose, through his spine, through his hips. He's got a nice neutral position. His knees are slightly bent. That can take pressure out of your back as well. This position can also be helpful if you have a bad back or something going on in your back. Generally, what we'll tell people to do is just put a pillow between their knees. So if we can prop up his knees a little bit, 
put a little support there, that just takes a little pressure off. So if you have any SI pain or low back pain, this can be also helpful. So try these positions. If you're on your stomach, get yourself to your side at, at a minimum right now, or if you can, go to your back. And again, sleeping in these positions with better support on your head is gonna cause less stress on your body. All right, thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please give us a like as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Now, if you'd like to get three video exercises that we've done with Dr. David Oliver that will help you to correct some of that forward head, those rounded shoulder, you know, that kyphosis that we're all suffering from today because we're looking down at our phones, we're hunched over our computers all day. So these exercises are meant to correct your posture. So if you'd like to get them, uh, they're completely free. Uh, there's going to be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you those videos right away.